Hello, it's Waiting for 976, my attacker here, the truth teller with the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. Ladies and gentlemen, this is about a man named Adam Smith, a man that the Austrian Libertards and them love, all they love him and everything, and, you know, uh, if I went, if I went according to the Bon Mises Institute and the Cato Institute and, uh, the, the University of Chicago, then yes, I probably would love him too. Well, wait a minute. I'm a liberal. I like Adam Smith. <gasps> Wait, what's he talking about? Well, let me give you a little brief backstory on Mr. Smith. He was born June 5th, 1723. He died July 17th, 19, 1790. He went to the University of Glasgow. At 14, he studied moral philosophy under Francis uh, Hutchison. He developed his passion for free speech, reason, and liberty there. Uh, there. I am getting this off of... Uh, Believe it or not, Wikipedia, but it is a good article on him. I have back checked some other articles, and it does seem to confirm what was written. Uh, he uh, also went to college uh, at the University of Cambridge in Oxford. In Book Five of *The Wealth of Nations*, Smith commented uh, on the low quality of education and uh, intellectual activities at English university when compared to their Scottish counterparts. Uh, he befriended a young man named a uh, blind a uh, young man blind young man named Henry Moyes. He had a great passion for the handicapped and people who got treated unequally. Adam Smith did. He was not what the the libertarians and them think because he actually was an anti-capitalist. I'll get to that here in a minute. Uh, he published his first book of the Wealth of Nations in 1776. Okay. He is considered a capital Jesus. And I got this. Uh, I'm going to put the link. This is a new article. Uh, I got this very good article. Uh, he's considered a capital Jesus. He envisioned a world of perfect capitalist competition. And it is a fr the free markets that ended sexism, racism, poverty, and inequality. Wrong. Okay, uh, according to uh, the real un unedited version of The Wealth of Nations, there's a lot of things that the University of Chicago and a man named, uh, well, I'll get to him here in a minute, but he edited out a lot of things that Adam Smith actually believed. Okay? Adam Smith was a classic liberal. He believed people should be free. There should be no authoritarian institutions, no division in labor, he believed uh, it destroyed people. He was for markets, but Adam Smith was also for people being treated equally, completely equal. Uh, the University of Chicago lied about Smith. Uh, it actually wrote in the bicentennial edition of The Wealth of Nations, not the original one. George Stiegler wrote the introduction. He said Adam Smith thought the division of labor was a, a great thing. In a civilized uh, society, the government would have, uh, you know, um, that there was no need for government and everything. Wrong. This is what he said about the division of labor. In a civilized society, the government would have to interfere in order to keep the division of labor from destroying people. The Mises Institute also lied about Adam Smith. It, used, it took out the same, basically same... Uh, articles that were written about him, you know, or that he wrote himself the same um, chapters and stuff that they just don't want people to know, but there are people that love Adam Smith because he was for equality and stuff, and the libertarians and them, and even good, decent libertarians and uh, small government conservatives want a good hero, and Adam Smith is considered a good person. So, uh, he, he was not what the neocons and the libertarians thought he was very much against uh, trust funds and stuff. He was for an income tax on the rich. There is a lot of things that the University of Chicago and them have lied about Adam Smith. And they, they think that by rewriting history, they will have another figure of their own. Because God knows it's a kind of got Hayek in them are considered jokes. Well, except to his good buddy, buddy Pennish chat, who probably lost another pinochle game. But, <laughs> but you know, I, I mean, you know, even 
other libertarian heroes like uh, von Mises. That guy was a Stone Age caveman for women. Uh, I mean, that guy was just, you know, and he was out of it. So they want someone that they can prop up, a man who was for the equal treatment of women and minorities and stuff, and say, look, this was a guy who was for the free market. He was for markets, but he was also for regulation of markets. And, you know, he was for the, the labor. He was not this an, uh, pro-capitalist, uh, small government free market li libertarian. You're lying about the man. Like Frank said in his uh, hilarious and funny new video, he said you'll rewrite history just to make your point. And this only proves it. You're lying about a great historical figure who actually was for labor, which a lot of libertarians are not. There are some left-wing libertarians that are for labor, but the majority of libertarians are not for labor. They, they, they consider it government reach. Nope, don't need no labor. They think it destroys the markets. And even though I can point out the fact that Ed Schultz on his TV show the other night showed a graph, and it showed how when the labor declined, the, the number of people in the middle class just started declining, 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 year by year, you know. And now we've got the lowest amount of middle class in America that we've had in over a century. But yet, facts matter not to a lot of you, right? Uh, again, I have to quote you, friends. I hope you don't mind, but again, it's all about your moral uh, opinion or whatever. You know, it's an opinion. It's not facts. And when somebody does hit you with facts, you go nuts. You backtrack. You lie. Not every single one of you. I've met a few good libertarians. I have. I want to make that perfectly clear. But the fact is, especially the Austrian types, they get so enraged when you put down their hero, you know, I mean, it's a cult. It's a religion. Some people are comparing this Austrian economics and libertarianism to religions. Yes! Why? Because what do far crazy religious people do? Sensible religious people will debate subjects with you. The crazy religious people, if you insult or even doubt one thing about their religion, they go bonkers. Same thing with the you know the libertarians and stuff when they the Austrian economics when they see someone like Rady Poro Radio Hogan. I saw a video of his that was brilliant, but two hundred thumbs down. What for? For the simple fact that the man dared talked about the Austrian economics and how it was debunked. I can name you fifty different ways it's been debunked, but this video is about Adam Smith. You know, I'll just close this out, getting back to Adam Smith. He was not pro-capitalist. He was not for destroying labor, and he was not for low taxes on the rich. Okay? The wealth of nations has been destroyed by uh, economic uh, uh, um, theorists at the Chicago Institute, and the University of Chicago, and the Von Mises Institute. Excuse me. Quit quit ruining the legacy of a good man. Okay? And that is the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth.